Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Britain, Great Britain, United Kingdom campaign in uh, Hearts of Iron 4. Now here's what's curious. That that event took us negative and apparently you're allowed to do that, um, which is interesting. I'm tempted to try to get Poland to join our um, faction. They're not aligned right now. They're not democratic. 15% fascist, 18% democratic, and 65% not aligned. But if we could get them to join the faction, then that just gives us an extra ally right next to them. These guys are democratic, so they should totally join the faction. Except that you have a, a policy of neutral foreign policy. Are they actually doing fighter focus too? Huh. What a coincidence. Well, let's wait and see what happens with Germany. The German Reich has declared war on Czechoslovakia. World War II has now begun. Damn. Join wars. Okay. We are officially at war. Okay, it's the German Reich versus Czechoslovakia, France, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, South Africa, United Kingdom, and British Raj. The list of strongest participants, the ones that have to capitulate major factions, is just the UK and France. Hopefully France is not a complete moron and stays on the Maginot Line, and uh, we go from there. So with that in mind, World War II is, is on. Let's take, take our time. We're going to slow down the game by like speed 2, because I have a tendency to play way too fast. Um, and let's just make sure that we are only paying attention to places that matter. Now, very it's very likely that the Italians will join the faction um, pretty quick here. Um, and possibly Nationalist Spain as well. So, I want to make sure that this fort is getting upgraded. I've, I've been upgrading it. Do you guys remember a long time ago, a while back, I, up, I had it queued up? The land fort level here is 9. Good freaking luck taking Gibraltar. My ships will always be able to get into the Italian seas. That being said, we don't really have very many um, guys, and I didn't actually train any... Uh, I don't think I have any... Did I do Marines? Okay, I did do Marines. So... Marines... As far as templates go... Let's say we wanted to modify our existing infantry division. Do a duplicate. And call this the, a Marine Invasion Force. Is there a symbol for marines? Shark. Sounds good. It's the marines. We change these over to marines. Costs a lot to replace. But just out of curiosity, I want to see if we can take a... a look... at what the difference would be. Can I edit two at once? Damn it. I can't. Huh. Well, when we unlocked Marines, we did get Marines. So we do have a Marine force. It's only eight combat width. It has no support. Amphibious attack plus 25%. I feel like you need the engineering company. only really takes infantry equipment and we've got 18k infantry equipment available knowing that it's 8 combat width right now I'm going to upgrade it for sure to 10 combat width what kind of stats do marines even have they move like infantry, lots of HP, soft attack, com completely 0% uh, hardness. They're better on defense than they are on breakthrough. So, they're, they're okay on offense. Just in general, I think most units have more defense than they have breakthrough. And that's by design. 
Okay, well, let's focus on getting our Air Force doing what it's supposed to do. We can see that there are 62 German divisions here in Western Germany. First things first, let's go ahead and start basing some airplanes. I think we start with two fighter groups here. It'd be nice if you could see what kind of range they would have. You guys are going to be going for air superiority. Here, I want to create two more 100 group flight things. There's this red symbol here. Operational range, 570 kilometers. Um, it doesn't show... It, clearly the issue is that they can't reach. Alright, let's start off like that. So we want air superiority here and here. I want to get... You know what? We can actually base out of Czechoslovakia too. Lacking range to completely cover the area. Minus 19% air base has insufficient supply. Why would they have insufficient supply? Now, I've also heard that if you run missions night and day, then they run like three shifts. They go out, which means that there's three specific opportunities for them to crash. And that maybe it's possible, it's better to have like one one squad that, that deploys during the day and then they'll do a longer, longer shift or something. I'm not sure. Chance for random accidents during takeoff and landing. Base 10%. Rain is unfortunate. Mission efficiency 69.9%. Sorry, 69.6%. Could you explain to me how we got to that number? Just lacking range to completely cover the area. Okay, well, what if we went to the front lines? So which, which one was I looking at? Oh, lacking range to completely cover the area. I'm trying to protect Paris. What if we went here instead? Japan has joined the Axis. Okay, so it's a good thing we have troops staged over in Singapore. Right, that means that we are also at war on this front. He hasn't been called in yet. We gotta wait till he gets called into the Axis. But we've got our troops on this border here. I'm sure we can get military access through China. Your opinion of me is negative. You're serious, you're at war with China, you're at war with Japan. If you give me military access, I could send troops through. 
right, let's make sure that we're making sense of what's going on here. And I'm, what I'm trying to do is just like, like really, really learn these numbers. Lacking range to completely cover the area. So are you saying that Northern France is just too large? Okay, fair enough. Lacking range to completely cover the area. Why don't we grab these planes that were here? And put them right up here. They're currently transferring to Champagne. I think once they get there, will they then take on the new orders? We actually have free civilian factories. Gibraltar is still gaining a level 10 land fort. We're expecting that they're going to join. I think we still do want to just keep on chunking out military factories. How are we doing on radar and anti-air? We've got tons of anti-air here. That's part of one of our missions. We've got some radar here. We've got fighters that are based down here. This panzer has no mission. Hmm. Did I actually put that many down here? Yeah, I just happen to have lots down here. Okay. Not really what I wanted to do. Okay. We're seeing France push into Germany already. I could actually just land. I don't need Marines, come to think of it. We're training Marines because we're going to be doing some invasions, but like these troops here, there's nothing stopping me from just going here. Like it's not a naval invasion, so let's just go. They called in Japan. Japan has called in Menguku. Okay, so let's go again. Take take their time to pay attention to this. So Japan's over here. China still won't give us military access. Yes, they will now. We are on the same side in a war. Good. Delete your orders. Uh, let's wait just a moment. You've given us some capacity now for motion. We've got 16 regiments. There's far too many provinces for them to cover that line. So what I'm going to do is we're going to shrink this, this, this line back down. Down until it's about green. Or even less. We're just going to come to like here. So they should strategically really deploy and then we're going to try to push back up this coastline. And I think, you know what, um, I'm actually, since Italy's not in the war yet, and again, this could be a mistake, I'm not sure, but I'm going to take this fleet and we're going to split it in half. I'm going to select this fleet. We're going to take our Admiral, who's apparently a good blockade runner. Sure, whatever. And we're going to put him on patrol way the hell out here. And I want air superiority out here as well, if I can get it. Ok, 
Okay, Whitley's, Interwar Bombers, Swordfish, Hectors. So we got 48 Swordfish. These are, I think... I don't recognize the name of these planes off the top of my head. Swordfish, Naval Bomber, Hector, Gladiator, and then just the Whitley. And we could do some tactical bombing runs. Let's grab our close air support. Now again, I've heard that it's you're that you're better off using small groups of a hundred. So that's what I'm gonna do. It'd just be nice if it was a little bit easier to manage. And you didn't have to do it so often. You have a better chance of generating ace fighters, and those ace fighters are better if they're in control of a group that's only 100. So most of the combat is happening in Western Germany at the moment. However, Czechoslovakia is doomed, it looks like. Why don't we grab 100 of these guys? Okay, what other planes do we have? We still have 352 close air support according to this. I don't know if that's correct. I think that that's wrong. Interwar bomber, tactical bombers. Sure. Now these ones, I'm just going to put them all in one, one group. Just all of them. It's fine. What I'd like to do is, is try to get some close air support. I want to get air, aerial superiority over Eastern Germany. Bases in very low supply, Czechoslovakia. Okay, so he's got 9 out of 4 supply. 16 out of 4 supply. Yikes. Central Mediterranean, we have... They have air superiority here. We've got some planes here. They don't reach. Okay, but air superiority in this region, why does that matter? Southern China, they have air superiority. We're waiting on airplanes to deploy. Now, are you going to give us military access? No. So our only real option then is to try to come in over here. And he is pulling back from the French front, which is not a good idea. The only problem with this is that we are actually going to be expanding French stuff. If we attack from French territory, we expand France, France's area of influence. But that's okay. Um, I'm not that concerned about it, actually. Naval combat in the East North Sea. It's the Battle of the Eastern North Sea. It 
it's looking like it's going in our favor, if I had to guess. We have a lot more stuff than they do, the whole 87 destroyers situation. I think that's going to be the, the end of the British fleet. Expeditionary force request from South Africa. Accept your divisions. What are you guys doing? Eleven divisions from Canada coming in. The results are we killed eight destroyers, one light cruiser, we lost one carrier type fighter. We lost four of our destroyers, big deal. And why am I having... Okay, right, because I had it set. This specific sea zone, I feel like it's safe to have them detach from their job to go repair and then come back to their existing mission. Because we have such such dominance, I think, in this region. The home fleet. We'll grab these guys, get them to merge in and help out. Missing equipment production. We're not making any carrier-capable fighters. That's okay. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, we're very low on organization. So we'll give it a second. Let's give them this. I'd like to build up a planning bonus. We can have up to 80% planning bonus before we start moving. And we also have a lot more troops that are arriving. Air wings with no mission, so the tactical bombers have arrived. Enemy has air superiority in the central Mediterranean and in southern China. Could have sworn that I had sent some planes out to be based out here, but... Okay, um, let's do this. In Czechoslovakia... We've got two squads doing air superiority. Let's try to get air superiority in East Berlin, East Germany. Air base has insufficient supply. Okay, so we can't use these. That's the problem. There's no supply in Czechoslovakia, so any airplanes we base out of Czechoslovakia are screwed right now. Okay, so we're going to relocate all of these planes. And we're going to do just, just do different missions. Instead. Okay, all right, well, I'm going to take a break here. Um, in, in the next episode, I'm expecting that these guys should arrive, and we're going to start our push. Um, in fact, it looks to me like we can actually move in and take a province right now. Like, Germany's pulling back from the front lines pretty heavily to position themselves for Czechoslovakia, which seems like a mistake. And yes, our, our light tank just pushed in. And if it's fast enough to perform a quick encirclement of these two, then I think the French will be more than capable of of helping out and killing that army. But for now, uh, like I said, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.